Hello, today is Saturday, May 30th, 2020. I would like to talk about the difference between a state and government. I will be using this book, it's a very standard book in Canada when you are studying politics. So, first I will be speaking English, later on I will be speaking Persian language. A state is has national boundaries, it has sovereignty, it has legal legal authority, it has political autonomy, and it it has a head of the state too. Um, then after that, it really doesn't change, remains the same, unless there is a revolution or a coup that will change. But uh, government is different. It has political actors that they come and they go. So Canada has three levels of government. Local, provincial, federal. At the local level, it does not have any political ideology because it is dealing with the local issues. For example, about picking up garbage, or um, how we're going to have uh, municipal activities, like leisure centers or community centers, how we could help small charities that are at a very local level, they help. On a provincial level, it deals with the issues within the framework of each provinces. Federal level is East Coast to West Coast. It's like Canadian Armed Forces, Canada Post, or issues that are really wide. But how do we come and form a government? That's the part that I want to talk about. That's it. I want to form a government. I want to have my political party. No one will decide for me I'm allowed to have a political party or not. I simply collect signature from people if they give their consent and this is based on Immanuel Kant said that when people are casting their votes for a candidate they are giving their consent to be governed by that person. So people are going to give their vote to me to form a political party and when the election comes people are coming from a wide range of the kind of issues that they have. I say well this is the way we're going to solve the problem. Because, for example, I'm thinking from left side or right side. And people say, oh yeah, that's a very great way to resolve that issue. And people casting their votes. If I get the majority vote, then I will be elected to the parliament and I will act on their behalf. In this kind of a situation, and when the major, majority votes are collected, that political party forms a government. If, like right now, we have minority government, it's not really stable, it could collapse. But uh, the more people are voting for one political party and they're gaining more seats in the parliament, the chances of passing a law that is, it is a very strong majority. So major, having a majority government is good, the country is stable. Minority government will lead to more election and it's bad for economy. So, this is the essence really understanding what is government. Yes, I'm going to speak Persian. Mo, Tainjo, in Ketabi, Ekev, to Kanada, Kasiki, Olumis, Yasim, Hodokhune, Yasmigir, a state has. و دولت هست نظام منظور از استیت مثلا نظام منظورم نظامه که به چه صورتی ساخت داره مرز داره از نظر قانون هایی داره که باید اون رایت بشه ولی وقتی دولت ها رو که داریم میگیم دولت ها پولیتکال اکتور دارن کسانی که بازی میکنن بازی به معنای بد نداره معنیش خوبه میان یه سری کار رو انجام میدم به فرض مثال من میخوام یه سری 
کارها رو یه انجام بدم اول از همه نگاه میکنم این مسئله مسئله لوکاله پروینشال یعنی استانیه یا مرکزی فدراله خب اگه داخلی باشه یعنی لوکال گاورمن باشه من میتونم خودم رو ثبت نام کنم برای اینکه به،, به آفیس برای دفتر انتخاب بشم تو شهرداری و این کار رو انجام بدم ولی اگه میخوام از نظر پروینشال پر این استانی یا مرکزی این کار رو انجام بدم یه مقدار سلس مراتبش بیشتره میتونم به عنوان تک رو یعنی ایندیپندن انت برم یا میتونم یه حزبی رو خودم تشکیل بدم بعد از مردم امضا باید جمع کنم رضایتشون رو کس کنم حزب رو تشکیل بدم یا اینکه بچسبم به یه حزبی حتی تو فدرالم یا پروونشو به اون صورته با اونا باشم بعد از مردم در دوران انتخابات رای کس کنم و وارد مجلس بشم رای یعنی اینکه مردم آقای امانول کند فلسفدان علوم سیاسی هستش میگه که وقتی مردم به یک نفر رای میدن یعنی رضایتشون دادم با رضایت مردم من رفتم توی مجلس و دارم کار میکنم برای مردم این دولت ها عوض میشن و به این صورت هستش که توی این موقعیت ها به این میگن تکی ولی امروزه سعی میکنم پروپوشنال ریپرزنتیشن بشه چون میگن بهتر هستش چون که عقیده همه این وسط هستش و در اینجا ارگانی وجود نداره که واسه من تصمیم بگیره من میتونم وارد مجلس بشم یا نه مردم برای من تصمیم میگیرم چرسی